Although our infants cannot verbally communicate, they express themselves through various subtle cues in their body language. As a new parent, deciphering these cues can be challenging, yet crucial for understanding your baby's needs and emotions. In this video, I'll guide you through interpreting these cues, making parenting a newborn much more manageable and fostering a stronger bond between you and your child. This bond not only reduces your baby's stress, but also promotes a sense of security. Research indicates that responsive parenting, coupled with accurate interpretation of baby cues, correlates with reduced future crying episodes and enhanced social confidence in infants. Over my career and a mother of two, I've gathered numerous tips and tricks to facilitate your parenting journey. Newborns communicate their needs through various cues, indicating if they're tired, hungry, seeking playtime, or in need of a break. Let's start with cues indicating fatigue. When your baby begins to feel tired, you'll notice a shift in their behavior. They may lose interest in toys and interaction, instead gazing past you with a still body. Yawning, eye or ear rubbing, and thumb sucking are common signs of fatigue in newborns. It's essential to recognize these cues promptly to initiate the bedtime routine. Keeping them awake beyond their tiredness can lead to overstimulation, resulting in fussiness and erratic movements. Settling an overtired baby for sleep becomes challenging, prolonging the process. In the first two to three months, newborns typically sleep 15 to 16 hours within a 24-hour period, gradually reducing to 14 to 15 hours by three to four months. During the day, infants aged zero to four months stay awake for 45 to 120 minutes before needing a nap. To learn more about promoting newborn sleep, check out the video above. Now, let's discuss hunger cues. While newborns generally feed every two to three hours, it's crucial to pay attention to hunger cues rather than adhere strictly to a feeding schedule. Early hunger signs include stirring, head turning, and mouth opening, indicating readiness to latch onto a nipple or bottle. Recognizing these cues before your baby starts crying is key to ensuring timely feeding and satisfying their hunger needs. Once your baby progresses from being hungry to feeling extremely hungry, you'll notice a distinct escalation in their body language. They'll begin to display increasingly vigorous movements, stretching their arms and legs with intensity. Bringing their hands to their mouth for sucking becomes more pronounced. If hunger cues are still overlooked at this stage, your baby will become noticeably agitated. Agitation manifests in heightened body movements, accompanied by crying and facial reddening. Waiting until your baby cries to feed them poses challenges as their tongue tends to be positioned at the top of their mouth, making latching difficult. Additionally, stressed infants may exhibit disorganized feeding patterns and fatigue quickly, resulting in short feeding sessions followed by a rapid need for another feed. Moving on to cues indicating a readiness to play. When your baby is eager for playtime, their eyes will be wide open and alert, eagerly following your movements or turning towards sounds. Even at the newborn stage, they'll engage with you using eye contact. Their body remains calm, breathing slow and content. Around three months of age, they'll start reaching out with their arms, attempting to touch your face or the toys you're presenting. Between four to eight weeks, they may vocalize and smile during interactions, signifying enjoyment. Dimming the lights creates an optimal environment for your baby to focus and fully engage with you. Keeping them close to you during play fosters intimacy and interaction. As you engage in play or your baby interacts with various stimuli, be attentive to subtle cues indicating they need a break or feel overwhelmed. These cues include looking away from you, displaying a worried expression, and exhibiting jerky movements in their arms and legs. Persisting in interaction despite these signals may lead to back arching and crying. In response, it's important to pause the activity, providing a moment of rest or changing the stimulus. Placing them under a play gym or near a window offers a change of scenery, allowing them to relax and recharge before resuming play. If your baby indicates a need for a break or feels overwhelmed during playtime, providing a quiet environment can help them relax and recharge. Consider allowing them to look outside or reducing environmental stimuli by dimming lights, closing blinds, or adjusting room lighting. Similarly, minimizing noise from the TV or conversation can create a calmer atmosphere. If your baby is being passed around and shows signs of discomfort, it's best to hold them still or place them on the floor for a break. Additionally, check their temperature to ensure they're comfortable and address any clothing issues. Continuing to engage with your newborn despite early cues for a break can lead to escalated signs of distress. Watch for increased arm and leg movements, tremors, changes in skin color, irregular breathing, and various reflexive actions like hiccuping or sneezing. Persistence may eventually result in crying, indicating significant discomfort or distress. Understanding and responding to your baby's cues not only reduces future crying episodes, but also fosters positive social and emotional development. Each baby is unique, 
so observing your baby's individual cues is key to meeting their needs effectively. By interpreting their cues, you create a supportive environment for their development and enhance your bond with them. Don't forget to hit the like button if this information was helpful, and stay tuned for more parenting tips and tricks in upcoming videos. Trust your instincts and keep nurturing the beautiful bond you share with your precious baby. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy parenting.